Chalk follows gold. Chalk follows gold? What? Have they never heard of silver? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Haven't you heard? It goes bronze, silver, gold, chalk, and then diamond, and then predator, right? 2.3 is on its way, and with it, Geo Supremacy is set to be taking front and center stage. New defense boosting 5 star artifact sets, defense boosting weapons, even defense boosting pets. I mean, characters. Good doggy. Geo will be happily receiving the biggest popularity boost Genshin has ever seen in this upcoming update. And yes, I'm including 1.3. And at the forefront will be Albedo. While Albedo has always been an extremely powerful Geo support character, he's garnered a somewhat lackluster popularity in the Genshin community. And it's not hard to see why he was released just after Zhongli, a titanic character in every respect. And while people knew the Geo Resonance was getting a boost in 1.3, if they were paying attention to the Genshin news and updates, plenty of people considered their roster fully Geoed up after getting their hands on the Archon. Another aspect of Albedo that may have driven up his skippability during his release was his hybrid scaling kit. All of Albedo's normal attacks, his burst, and his initial skill damage scale off of his attack stat as per usual. However, Albedo's skill produces a field in which enemies who receive damage trigger small bursts of AoE Geo damage called transient blossoms. These bursts scale their damage entirely off of Albedo's defense, which is 815 at level 80. So if you have Albedo playing as an off-field Geo support, which is where he generally belongs as his normal attacks are pretty weak, what do you do? Build up his attack power to capitalize on his powerful burst, or build his defense to take advantage of his skill damage? Having to build two stats instead of having a main focus made Albedo just a bit less appealing to the player base. But now, that is all about to change. Both Ito and Goro benefit from having another Geo Party member on board, and Albedo fits the bill so perfectly, it's almost scary. Ito is going to be very selfish with his field time. He wants to be on the field a lot to throw his normal attacks and generate his stacks of super strength. If you don't know what I mean by super strength or you just want to know more about Ito's kit, check out my ultimate pre-release guide video here. And uh, make sure to read my pinned comment as some of his kit has actually been buffed since I made that video and all the up-to-date information is there. As I was saying, Ido will want lots of field time, but he needs a Geo battery to keep his burst ready to go on cooldown. No one will be better at generating those particles from off field than Albedo. Albedo's skill has a 4 second cooldown and a 30 second duration, so you can maintain 100% uptime with no effort at all and the transient blossoms have a high chance to generate geo particles every time they're triggered to be absorbed by the character on field. Albedo's skill also provides an elevator, which I gotta say, it looks dumb as hell. It doesn't look cool at all. Until you remember, Ido can do over 500% plunging damage. And then we have Goro. And this is where shit gets really spicy! Goro has a similarly weak normal attack power and a large area of effect skill and burst which hands out boosts based on how many Geo characters are in the party. A flat defense bonus with only one, an increased interruption resistance with two, and a 15% Geo damage bonus with three, which means that with a Geo damage goblet and Albedo's own ascension stat, Albedo will have an absolutely ungodly 92.6% Geo damage bonus. <laughs> That's a lot of damage! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> and the, and the, the constellations! Reading through the constellations on these three, I could not stop imagining them all just standing around in a circle, just like running up and high-fiving each other repeatedly. Hey man, my C1 makes it so I literally never have to be on the field to charge my burst. All that energy is for you guys! Oh, nice! My C2 lets me spam my burst when you guys are around. 
and after it ends, my C4 gives both of you 20% more attack and defense. Whoa, that's crazy. My C2 gives my burst a damage bonus of up to 120% of my defense, so that would help me out twice as much. Hey, that's awesome. With you two around, my C4 will heal whoever's on the field for 250% of my defense, so that helps me out as well. And my C6 will give you guys both a 40% geo crit damage bonus. Holy, Holy shit, crap. really? really? <laughs> yup! Okay, For the icing on the proverbial cake that is this team, two more big albedo buffs are going to be released in 2.3. First, there's a new four-star weapon called the Cinnabar Spindle. This weapon and its refinements are expected to be an event reward, so while every player can get it, the fun little slap in the free-to-play face is that it really only works on albedo. But man, does it work on Albedo! A maxed out spindle will have a 69% defense substat and give elemental skill damage a boost based on 80% of the wielder's defense. This boost has a weird little cooldown, but because Albedo's skill triggers once every two seconds anyway, you can basically ignore it. And secondly, I already mentioned the new Husk of Opulent Dreams artifact set in my video on Ido, saying it would likely be his best in slot, but taking a closer look at the four piece set, that's how Beto actually benefits from it even more. This is a little complicated, so bear with me. Characters with this four piece set will gain stacks of curiosity. Each stack of curiosity represents a 6% boost to both defense and geo damage bonus, and you can have a maximum of 4 stacks, or 24%. You receive a stack of curiosity by hitting an opponent with geo damage, but if you go 6 seconds without receiving a stack, you will start to lose stacks. For Ido, this means that during his burst downtime, he'll start losing out on the bonus. However, for Albedo, things are different because characters also receive a stack of curiosity every three seconds while they're off the field. Because of this, Albedo can maintain four stacks almost constantly and should never drop below three. He will be utilizing this artifact set better than anyone else in the game, and honestly, I should have realized it before. I mean, if you had to guess, between the demon gang leader who likes to host beetle fights and the genius alchemist performing experiments alone on a mountain, who do you think would be better suited to receiving literal stacks of curiosity? It's, it's right in the name. Personally, I can't wait to slap every bit of defense bonus I can onto him and make his skill absolutely shred. But having all these defense boosts coming from everywhere means that it's a lot easier to actually build that hybrid kit and incorporate attack boosts as well. To sum it all up, Albedo is about to become a monstrous Geo support character and 21 days later, Ido and Goro are going to join Albedo to become an insane Geo team. If you are saving up planning to get some constellations of Ido, I recommend seriously considering Albedo. If you are on the fence about wanting a new main DPS but want to take advantage of the wicked Geo bonuses and the super specialized free sword we are going to get in 2.3, I would also highly recommend pulling for Albedo. And if you're a free to play or low spender, and all of this makes you feel like you are falling down a deep, dark hole filled with broken gotcha dreams, do not despair. There is hope. Hello there. I am so excited to announce that here on the Game Time channel, we will be doing an Arataki Ito giveaway. I have, with great determination, endless effort, and only marginal amounts of groveling, gathered together the monetary requirements necessary to guarantee one of you a fresh-baked, premium-grade, ethically harvested, five-star Geo Daddy. However, there is a possibility Fun little possibility, it'd be even more 
Edos to be given away. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a crowdfunding campaign with a goal of 365 US dollars, which just happens to be the amount necessary to guarantee a five star in Genshin Impact. If we reach this goal, then the number of Edos given away will be raised to two. However, if we pass that goal, that number will continue to rise. If every single person currently subscribed to the Game Time channel were to donate a single dollar, one dollar, to this fund, then we would be giving away not five, not six, but 11 Arataki Edos. Imagine what would happen if you guys gave me five dollars. It would, it would be 55. It's really easy math. But it's still crazy. 100% of the money raised this way will be devoted to character giveaways here on the channel and any money that's left over after this giveaway is done will be rolled over into the next character giveaway. I'm hoping that this amount can just snowball until we're giving away like 100 Yaimikos or something. That would be pretty cool. I think people would like that. Disclaimer. Very important, all right? There is no strategic benefit to donating to this fund, okay? You don't get any extra chances to enter. You don't get put on a, a short list or something. That would be considered a private lottery, which is not legal. Thanks, laws. In order to enter my fabulous giveaway, you must like this video, subscribe to the channel. Duh. However, you also need to put down in the description a comment detailing your ideal Arataki Ito wish ritual. Those wish rituals will be executed by me on the day of the giveaway. I will do one wish per ritual, and whoever's ritual is doing the most lucking and gets me my Ito will win themselves an Ito. You get it? It's, it's, it's poetic or, or something. Now. These rituals must not include any character-specific actions that are outside of my roster. Here is my roster. Spending any resin or other limited resource. Here is my resin. Obviously. Anything that requires over five minutes to complete. If every one of these takes five minutes and I lose 50-50 and have to do it 180 times, then that will wind up taking 15 hours. Don't, don't do that to me. Please? My favorite 180 rituals will be selected to compete and then they will be ordered randomly on the day. I am looking for creativity, comedy, and having a good reason for why you made your ritual the way that you did will get you extra points. However, if your ritual is just scare five ducks and then blast Bennett off a cliff and your reasoning is because it's all random and none of this actually matters, well that's... It's good reasoning for your ritual, you goddamn God unbeliever. On the day of the giveaway, I will be doing a live stream to document this grand contest. If we're still only giving away one Edo, then when I get mine, you'll get yours. However, if we have two, then it'll be for each five-star roll, and I'll simply use all 180 wishes that I currently have saved up and both the first five star and the second roll will also win an Arataki Ito. If we have over nine, then we can do one for every four star roll. That would be insane. If we have even more, then we can always resort to a simple draw. But, I mean, what are the chances we'll have over 18 Edos to be given away, right? Balls in your court on that one, I guess. Winners who aren't present in the audience on the day of the live stream will be posted on the Game Time Twitter account, and you'll need to contact me within 14 days to claim your prize. The date of the giveaway shall be on December 18th, the Saturday, directly following Ito's banner release, which should happen on the 15th. You have until then to both donate and enter. I wish you luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor. I don't know how to end these things. Okay, bye.